Hi, my name is Georgina. I'm 22 and I'm in my final year of study at Curtin, hoping to complete a Bachelor of Commerce uh, majoring in Economics and Management at the end of this year, if everything goes to plan. Uh, essentially, the purpose of this video is to explain some of the things I've managed to take away from not only this unit, but from my entire time at Curtin University as a whole. This reflection will cover things I'm not I'm proud of, enjoyed and found to be positive in this time, as well as some of the struggles and not so enjoyable parts. Uh, the video will then end on what my idea of the future holds and how I see my career playing out. The employability tool is a profile that's custom made to you after you take a comprehensive survey. Um, this survey covers different personal beliefs, skills, abilities, emotional and cultural awareness as well as social aspects of your life um, so this is supposed to guide you through your career and uh, so as seen in the picture my most recent results after our final seminar I uh, was quite widespread over the different literacies uh, and I think these are quite accurate in how I currently feel about my progress and development in those areas uh, one thing I notice is that my ethical, cultural and social literacy, as along with emotional literacy, are most developed on mine, uh, which I can definitely identify with as um, I've always made a strong connection people-wise and this has been reflected in my career within the customer service roles. Uh, my weaknesses that uh, were shown to me were rhetorical literacy and occupational literacy, which has always been fairly obvious to me too. I've struggled with procrastination my entire schooling life and as well into university. Um, although I do get tasks done uh, and I do believe I have a great problem solving skill, making decisions and meeting deadlines is something that I have already struggled with for a long time and is quite a source of anxiety. In terms of occupational literacy, my career awareness and drive for a clear path is something I feel I do struggle with also. Uh, I feel as though I struggle to see a future um, just yet and I'm in something that I'm certain about. Um, my motto has always been I'm trying to keep my options open um, which is why I chose commerce to begin with but obviously now it's time to narrow that down. Uh, my initial employability results um, were practically identical to the ones that you've just seen and I think that's because I haven't really had a huge breakthrough throughout the semester and I've been in the same job the whole time, the same routine um, so I'm not surprised in that. Uh, but when reflecting on this activity, I suppose you could say um, it's nothing new has been made clear to me, but it is becoming apparent that I do need to face a decision and make choices, which is quite scary. Uh, so hopefully the next year I'm successful in those areas and I can revisit this test and see my improvement. Initially before starting the unit, uh, when I looked through the unit outline, I will admit I thought it was a little uh, fluffy for a last year unit, uh, which being completely honest, I didn't mind at uh, the look of considering I didn't have the best 2020 at uni and uh, my motivation was at a low point. So I was actually looking forward to that. Uh, I enjoyed the activities, but again, each time we did them, I first considered them again to be fluffy. However, I thoroughly enjoyed the meaningful discussion led by Doug, my tutor, at the end of each activity to help us make the clear connections between the activity, uh, not only for the benefit of our reflections to get assessed on, but also for our careers in the future post-university. Uh, I really enjoyed the concept of the elevator pictures, um, pictures as assessments because being put on the spot is an important part of professional life, as we know. So I enjoyed getting a little bit of practice as, as I'm quite nervous uh, in a rehearsed setting, so that was great. I also really loved the marketing plan, as it left me no option but to actually put an idea on pen to paper, as it was for the sake of my classmate. So that was really good because you just had to decide something and no one ever tells you to do that. Like I said earlier, I've always tried to keep my options open. So it was good to just have to do it so that uh, my partner Kez could present. Um, if I had to make one criticism, it would be that uh, I did have difficulty with the class reflections. Um, I found it difficult to create a meaningful in-depth reflection on such a small activity or part of the unit. Um, I quite enjoy writing and I found it limiting in that sense. I think that perhaps uh, what they could have had us do is reflect on two or three seminars instead of one. Um, I think that would allow us to create a more whole piece of writing um, to submit. 
Another thing is that I think this unit would have been very helpful for a lot of students in first year uh, because it is kind of that uh, sense of direction that you might need when choosing a major. So I would have really appreciated it back then, but I do see why it's also important at the end as well. So when thinking about my time at Curtin and university, overall, I think I enjoyed my time. Um, however, I'm not sure if this is because I actually enjoy studying or if I just enjoy the life of a student. I've always juggled two casual jobs quite easily and I've enjoyed that. Um, in my first year out of high school, I did occupational therapy for a year, which I enjoyed the practicality of and I was good at it, but I quickly discovered that I had a weak stomach, couldn't handle cadavers. Um, so I looked back at what I was good at at school and economics stuck out to me. Um, so my first year of commerce, though, I did struggle a bit to attend some classes and it was really demotivating for me in my first year. Um, but I managed to pull through. When I think about how well I did, I like everyone would say I could have studied harder but I actually am happy with my results and um, while I was disappointed at some places with my marks um, I think overall I did myself justice uh, and I do think I chose the correct degree because um, I'm happy with my economics major I really find that clicks with me but I, if I could go back I don't think I would have chosen management um, I don't think any of the units were as useful as they could have been to me um, and I really didn't like how much of that major was weighted um, with group assessments. Um, that bothered me a little bit. So I think I would choose something a little bit more practical, like accounting or something like that, but I don't regret it. Um, in the future, in terms of further study, uh, law is something that I have been considering a fair bit. Um, I didn't really have the confidence to do it straight out of high school. But now that I've settled in to uh, life a little bit more, I think I would be good at it and I think I could manage it in the future. Um, my current work ethic right now would not make the cut for law, so I would have to revisit this idea further down the track. Um, but it's exciting to think that that's a possibility. Uh, so my main long-term goal or mission statement, if you will, is to impact the way that women view economic independence. Um, to encourage the well-being and safety of women uh, by equipping them with the correct tools and mindset to participate in the workforce, uh, particularly women in rural and low socioeconomic areas. Um, this, I was personally lucky enough to attend an all-girls school where I was fueled by this uh, powerful female energy, which was amazing, and everyone had such high expectations of you, and uh, I've, it was a, an amazing experience for me. Um, but I know that I was very lucky in that and not enough women get that. Uh, so my next steps after graduation is to gain experience outside of my work, current work uh, relevant to women's health and mentality, um, just so I have a little bit more experience in that. I already do have a lot of experience in female relationships and female dominated industries and um, a lot of connections to successful women thank you, thanks to my family and my rural upbringings. Um, I think my current job in operation support is still a viable choice for me post-graduation just because I have been given so many learning opportunities there and I do feel like I'm still learning a lot as I go. Uh, once that stops and I feel like it's not giving as much as I'm giving it, I will then decide if I want to do law um, or not. I will, might have to commit myself to a full-time job eventually. Um, but yeah, an area that I can improve in in a way to make sure this career plan goes well is definitely my networking skills. Um, I've always felt so busy with two jobs in uni uh, that the thought of doing anything extra outside of my own friends and family was just exhausting. So I'll, I'll try to do better on this, definitely. Um, so this one is quite tricky for me because I'm still very undecided. But initially, in five years' time, I would have expected myself to be living internationally. I did have plans to move to the UK. Um, however, it's kind of hard to plan for that currently. So in five years' time now, I hope to either be studying law or if I decide not to, then I just hope that I'm really happy in a job. Um, my main hope is to be independent and busy. I'm always happiest when I'm the busiest but also at peace, I hope. Um, I also hope my future self is confident and that she's putting herself out there a little bit more professionally. Um, 
But again, I really hope that she's maintaining her friendships uh, because that currently is such a large, strong force in my life as well as family. Um, I also hope that Future Me has done some travelling as well as some more learning, whether or not that be law or um, just experience in the workforce. Um, I do hope she's proud of herself and doesn't regret anything because, like I said before, although I could have studied harder, I could have done this, I shouldn't have done management, um, I really hope that it works out and I don't look back and regret not doing something or doing something instead of another thing. So, yeah. So to conclude, although I've never been the perfect student, I am proud of where I am today and the future is scary. Uh, I believe I will find the right pathway for me, but this unit's taught me it's okay to be nervous and still have no idea, but it's also highlighted to me those areas of weaknesses that might be worth looking into uh, to work on improving this ambiguity I have about the future. Um, I'm looking forward to being more proactive, getting work done and meeting personal deadlines faster and also allowing my network to grow in my experience. But yeah, I'm excited for what the future holds.